everyone's gone. All that's left is us. I remember. I remember now, John, about the past, about when you found me, and and about Greenberg. I I made up my mind. I'm going to Esther City. The city is where everything began, and it's where everything will end. I'm going there. I'm going to bring all of this to a close. Will you help me, John? You need to find a way. A way to S the city. Okay. Always, was always in there researching the miasma. Maybe there would be some kind of clue there. Input signal out of range, input signal out of range, Alva, do you copy? Alva, do you copy? Signal loss, launching out mode. Alphabot, IT servers, please enter a system name. Input complete, name updated. New name registered, Sonic Punk. Please enter a command. Searching for Alva. Not found. Last known signal east. 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 East? Portion is advised for those traveling east of New Town City. The only available route is via the main rail. According to an unverified source, the immortal East Esther City sits on the eastern edge of the continent. Map data is incomplete, no further information available. Hmm. Yep, we gotta go to the train. He said, song I was going to write for you. You really must let me sing it for you before you leave. Alright, quickly. When do you think this friend's gonna let up, huh? Hate it. We can't do anything when it just keeps raining like this. Damn, all I want to do is play Airborne. Can't you bring the machine inside, Mrs. Tayama? Oh, ho, ho, you young whippersnappers. If Granny tried to lift that machine, her old bones would break faster than the sticks in a wood chipper. 
want to play so bad, buy the machine and haul it off yourselves. Can you be here if we had that kind of money? This stinking rain will never let up. Oh, hey, it's Sam. You heard the princess ran away, is that true, Sam? As if the princess is an upstanding gen. It was Isabel, she took Alba and left for Esther City. Esther City? You mean that Esther City? The one and only. I thought that was just an old fairy tale. Yeah, but if that's where Isabel's headed, doesn't that mean it's real? It is real. Huh? Mrs. Tiyama, do you know something about Esther City? Do you know how to get there, huh? Ha! Huh. And how would Granny know something like that? What I do know, though, is that it exists. The princess grandfather, you see, he came from there. That was Grandpa. Is from Esther City? Supposed to be here. Everything ready? Uh, everything's packed and on, on, ready and on that to the train. Then the time has finally come. This city has been good to us. I remember it fondly. I mean, maybe we should wait a few more d -d -d days. Absolutely not. My calculations are correct, they should be arriving any second now. The Sam, are you all right? Daniel, you're doing this young lady a disgrace. Now, you two need something, yes? It's the city, is it? Interesting. Remarkable place, really. Though I'm afraid if bear won't be sheep. I thought we were uh, already. It's the first time I saw the both of you. I couldn't help but think fate a truly peculiar thing. Even now it just so happens that we too are headed eastward. Certainly, having a strapping, indefatigable man such as yourself aboard would be in our best interest, as would complimentary passage be in yours. What say you? You scratch our backs, we scratch yours? Have you no know ones you have made up your mind? Where is it off, young... young uh, not yet. Um, let's see, is there anything else we should do here? I think so. Um, and strawberry milk. Yeah, that's what those two always order. Mix on the beets and strawberry milk. City after you had a sip of my sweet lightning.
Let's go. Trevor, let's meet at the station then. Rain, rain, rain. Blowing this public school standard, are you? I mean, for the long face, we all come to see you off. John, we really owe you guys for yesterday. Ain't that the truth? I'd be at the bottom of some uh, big bastard's stomach if it weren't for you guys. And thank you enough. Thank you. Then Jackson got something to say to you. Hey, hey, why me? Can we say we say it together? It's just too scared to say because it's too mushy and everyone will laugh. So, uh, Sam and uh, Mrs. Dash, uh, what I want to say is it's you guys are heroes. Say something! Jackson's basically been heartbroken since he heard you were leaving. You just gotta come back. And when you do, we play Earthborn again. John! It's finally that time, is it? The fated farewell? A lot of thought into it, you see. I believe I should stay here. This is where I belong. Hmm, where did that beetle queen go? It was here just a second ago. Your Highness, your Highness, if you would. The road to the east is played with danger. Not even our troop dares travel that evil faded path. Legend has it the land is covered in an impenetrable fog. We must be careful. Safety first. Take this. Perhaps it will prove to be of some use. You guys. Thank you. The sun's come out. Do 
you're leaving then. Esther City. My grandpa spoke of it once. A frozen city along the eastern edge of the world. With a soaring tower reaching towards the sky. This won't be an easy trip, that much I can tell you. There's still time to change your mind. No way, we're not giving up. You too. There's something about you. You got a kind of strength I can't even dream of. Guess it's like the same. Even the coldest prep shooter can still turn the tables and hit it big in the end. Folks leaving, what a coincidence, I'm leaving too. I thought I'd paint one last scene before heading back. Folks have a nice trip now, you hear? John! Feast your eyes on this steed of iron, now ride as it were. The iron carbine. A frame of wrought iron and a sheer impulsive force of a hundred barrel stallions. It represents the ultimate in uh, vehicular transportation and boasts a stellar chauffeur, if I may add. I'm not sure if this is a stellar is the right word. The little robot he always doing, you know, the... Is it? Uh, it reminds me of the moat that we have. Maybe I don't have it on my hand. I don't have that on my own. Yeah, there. Yeah. Reminds me of that emote. You know, he keeps uh, putting the fingers together like shy. Then we hit the road as a day. We have quite a trip ahead of us. Many, many, many hours of pleasant conversation. about the water shining and still the same as it did when we arrived and it would still be there when we leave throughout the streets black dots wriggle like ants repairing their nest after the rain a few familiar faces are now missing from the crowds of people and the face of those left behind are numb and devoid of emotion maybe if we didn't leave we would be amongst them too maybe if it didn't leave we would be amongst them too Finger bang, 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 bang. Well, it's better today, isn't it? It seems we chose the right day for our for departure. Turn it frown upside down, my lady. There's nothing to worry about. If you wear your nerves so thin already, why well, you run out of nerves to wear before you even reach Esther City. Have you ever been to Esther City, William? Alas, no. We are as in the dark about the good city as you are. But, if the legends are correct, and so long as we continue eastward along the main line, we'll reach it short as silver. Ah, we have already lost sight of New Dam City. 
Daniel, level off here. Yes, sir. Not to be stingy, of course. We simply don't want to run out of fuel. Getting stuck in the middle of who knows where is normally my cup of tea. say, John, I don't remember you having a daughter. Don't tell me. That school teacher? No? Then Catherine, was it? Did seem to have some interest in you. And yet somehow... Ah, never mind. There's no need to explain anything to me. Dolls like us have our reasons for everything. Yes, reasons for everything. Daniel, is he? How is he? Is that so? He was. He has always been a strong willed boy. If only he hadn't been my son. Yes, then he certainly would have had it a lot easier. Outside, John, there's some giant mushroom outside. Mushroom? Some poisonous mushroom stuff. My, my, that is quite a substantial room. A mushroom of this size. Wow. You haven't seen anything like that before, have you, William? It will bring no, in no small lump of change in your damn city, that's for sure. There's some uh, for fog gathering up ahead. Should I reduce his speed? Interesting, very well. Safety first, as they say. What's that? Behind us? Oh dear. Pastor Danny, if you would. There's another train chasing us. Increasing his speed. Isabel, going so fast, it's gonna hit us. Not good, not good, not good. That's the dynamo. Can't you push this any harder? We've already reached my max speed. We're gonna crash. That train, that was the iron carbon. Look, it's exactly the same. You must be mistaken, my dear. I created an iron carbon myself. You will not find another train like it in all of the world. But I saw it. Do you see it, John? Huh? You see, there says something weird with the fuel tank. Almost like, like the fuel we just used came to the back. What on earth do you mean by that? Came back. That, that's just what I mean. Almost like we didn't use any fuel after seeing that mushroom. Or more like like we haven't moved moved at all. 
And how, pray tell, could that be even remotely possible? Even a cursory glance outside would tell you. We're currently making good time down the main rail. Go this fast without using any fuel. Why, you will be the world's next billionaires. That's weird, I swear we have already gone by this place. Alright now, my vertically challenged little friends. Let me entertain you for just one moment. If all that you're saying is truly the case, then we should be approaching some fog soon, hmm? Approaching the fog? Daniel, I don't believe I remember teaching you how to lie. Wait, are you being serious? It's there, it's there, the other iron carbon. Mother of God, faster than it is getting on us. Damnation. If the iron carbon is total, it's going to cost a fortune. Not to mention all the fuel costs. We're back. I've got it. The keys to the other iron carbon. Things become, shall we say, weird as soon as the other iron carbon catches up with us. Which means all we need to do is go faster than it. Daniel, you're going to want to tighten your grip on the ship because when that thing appears again, you're going to push this little engine that uh, could as fast as you can push it. Yes, sir. Probably. So that's what he did the uh, first time. Here again. Don't tell me I'm going in circles. That's fog. Even the water's gone deadly still. Definitely. Don't worry, we'll be there soon. I see if we can't believe it. We are the real iron car, right? Or is that the, the phony pursuer can go as fast as us, hmm? No, no, I mustn't let that iron rip scaling get to my head. Anyway, when the time comes, I want you to use that. Uh, that, that, that? But it's not very, uh, it's uh, stable. Oh, pish, you worry too much. Besides, if you're not able to pull out the head of that speed fiend, we might be stuck here in this loop for the rest of our lives. You two, you best uh, find something to hold on to. Let's just say we're about to get going pretty fast. Ready, Daniel? Alright, just see if you get uh, loaded. Perfect. Now, let's see if our friend Mr. Light makes an appearance. Here comes the fog. Prepare yourself, Daniel. Await my command. Let's get. Come on. There it is. Now, Daniel, now. Activating 50 fuel. Can we go any faster? It's getting on us. Uh, I can't. We're already going as fast as we can go. Any faster we might blow up. Here it comes. 
last. Are we to be trapped here forever then? Hmm. Are, are you okay? That's certainly smart. Is that it then? Have we failed once more? I th think we have uh, he he hit something. What? Over there, look. I see something. What are we going out? Uh, oh, heck, did we end up in a bigger train? These guys? Hmm. Monkey mother. Young master dance of this, he will be piping mad. He will, oh, he will dare there. Who are you two? We are on our way to Esther City. Except that, uh, well, we got stopped by some weird train. Ah, you speak of the time field. So time is a bit of a jumble within the fog, you see. Without the proper speed, you would never make it through. Just like, well, Monk, Monk Hollywood. What the heck? Once upon a time in Monk Hollywood. Hollywood, wait, uh, then you're trapped here too? Trap, you want a little trapped, wouldn't you say? At any rate, if you need any assistance, my children will gladly help you. Find them in the car up ahead. You mean those guys over there? Uh, well, yes, those are also my children, but I'm afraid they are a bit lacking in the intelligence department. No matter, children are further up ahead, playing. They're always finding something new and novel to play with. Okay, thank you. Uh, mom, feel free to call me mom. It's what everyone does. Okay, thank you, mom. John, doesn't she look a little bit like the robot back in Greenberg? Seventeen. Padrino. Huh? Eek, I say, but was what was that terrific explosion just now? That me scared the devil out of me. They're not filming an action sequence now, are they? Eee. I'm so sorry, sir. It was just us crashing wildly into the side of your train. Oh, go, cool. ah, the great train heist. Brilliant, eee. Clever girl, I'm the producer here, eek. Producer? Yes, though, some people still remember me as the mayor, eek. It was when that uh, old chap came around, yes. That was when we metamorphosed into a glorious filmmaking troupe, the extra... Actually, I was elected producer, although I've been known to stretch my acting muscles from time to time as well. Eek. What say you, girl? Do you like moving pictures? Eek. Oh, do I? Earthborn's my favorite. Oh, go back, airborne, you say. Well, that's a name I have not heard in a long time. Why, when I graced the stage in that film, I was but a haughty young shim filled with delusions of grandeur. Eek! You acted in airborne? Who did you play, huh? The Rocky Knight, the Hunter, the arch Archmage? Ho oh, ho ho, ah! But of course, there is only one role I could have played the monkey. Eek! Wait, then you guys don't happen to still have the rocket knight's rocket here, do you? 
Rocket? Come to think of it, I do remember seeing something of the sort. Do we need to ask in the storage car though? Picking up with a young film buff like yourself. Have an interest in a bit of acting of your own, eh? Acting? You mean like in a real movie? Why, of course, ah. You've been quite short of hands lately, you know? Particularly when it comes to humans of the speaking variety, eh? At any rate, go speak to our director. Tell him I sent you. Be sure to know more about this. Rocket as well. Eek. Oh, cool, God, Kim, before you go, take this. Consider the gift for a budding young film of a Nado. Tin Monkey, Monk Hollywood contract. Okay. Biblio, welcome to the Monkey World Monk Hollywood Archives. The West Library of Monk Hollywood movies can all be found here. Eek. Broken again, eek. Right here. The time our Guto must be shedding again, eek. Devil time. Oh, we're gonna get the highest price. The Demon King. at least
Okay. What the heck? You! You are monkeys, yes? Monkeys? We are not monkeys, we are humans. Impossible, never before have I seen a human so lacking uh, androgenic hair. A human would exhibit the same uh, hypertrophic uh, tendencies as I. Monkey is capable of speech though, but that is rare. A wild species, perhaps. At any rate, what brings you to a YouTube monkey of Hollywood? Hollywood. A triangle stuck in some weird fog. Yes, my Hollywood has been shrouded in this fog for years. That train. Once it appears, you mysteriously find yourself straight back where you began. My calculation is correct. We're some, we someone able to move faster than that train, and they should be able to outrun it. Not that this information would do the two of you any good. But even we humans have been able to achieve such speeds. A film you seen for deadly dolls upstairs, eek, cook, cook, only those with permission from the producer allowed. Deadly dolls, what's that? How could you not know what deadly dolls is, eek, you plebeian? Deadly dolls is only the newest hottest science fiction film. It came out among Hollywood. Cook, cook, eek. Newest hottest science fiction film. Oh gosh, that sounds pretty cool. You like Airborne, huh? Hey, careful! Oh, there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. But, uh, not really. That's more of a, um, third flick. Third flick? Yeah, you know, about the ancient times and all that. Ancient times, so that's what they were like. Anyway, I already said too much, eh? Can we go upstairs? What? The producer recommended you? Eh? That old ape. Find them. You can go up, but quite unsaid to hear it. Hmm. You ready at it? Almost, almost, hook, hook. I, I can't, I can't. You just give me a sec, eh? God almighty, at this point you're gonna completely miss the shoot. Eek! What's wrong? Rotunda won't come out of the bathroom, eek. And we got an important scene to film today. Does this every time he does. Pause at the crucial moment, eek. Quiet you! It's, it's, it's a psych <laughs> physiological response, I can't help it, eek. No, you're only humans and all. That don't mean getting oogle in your tubs and the less weird. Eek! I'm so sorry. Don't talk to me, Eek. I'm in a terrible mood right now. W2, this is no time for fighting. Already, the doll army has entered the city. If only I still had my beef buster 5000. That old tin can, don't make me laugh. The only thing that hunk of bolts good for is breaking down. What, what, what did you say? 
Gear blaspheme against my Beatbuster 5000? I said it once and I'll say it again. That thing ain't nothing but an old tin can. Cut! It is all of you, eh? They give you. Gives me all. Not scissor pop. Pop, 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 I say scissor pop. Eek! Uh, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Eek! Uh, there, uh, what's scissor pop, huh? Got an idea, Denaro? Huh? Sizzle pop, sizzle pop. Yes, I would say something along the lines of a sizzle followed by a pop. <laughs> you think uh, this uh, pineapple heads uh, got any idea what you uh, what you's talking about? Got to use three little words with this guy. Come on, yeah, yeah, three little words. Hey, wait a minute, huh? Why don't set? Take it from the top again, from the top. Eek. Where's the uh, rotondo? It better much is shapely terrier out here right now. I'm going to go ape. Ape, I tell you. Eek. If it does not produce itself in one minute, he's fired. Fired, eh? squeezed bottle of banana milk. What say you, my lady? Care to join me for a nip back in my room? Ugh, you sound like a human. Don't make me sick, eek. Oh, oh, but of course, but of course, eh? Huh? What the near direct approach of the animals would bring you. My mistake, my mistake, eek. Tono went running off again. What a wimp pick. This straight that part is mine. <laughs> Darlings! Yes, yes, yes! See? Those corpse like shoulders, that's vacuous expression. His palm says, Tell us to be this protection. Okay. You, sir, everything I have ever looked for in a man. Tell me, darling, have you ever wanted to be a star, eh? Just looking for a rocket? I'm the director of this outfit, and you are? I'm Sam, and this here's John. The producer sent us as lifeless a name as your cold, dead eyes. Perfect, eek! I don't care who recommended you. I'll be the only one deciding who's a star around here. Come on, darling, show me your stuff, eek! This microphone, it's far too quiet here. Yeah, give me another one. Eek. Much better. Oh, what, what, what is this? Why is your hair all over it? Whatever, I just used the old way. Now then, George. It's uh, John, Mr. Director. John, darling, close your eyes. You are a young man without the future. A lazy bum whose pile of crunchy socks is higher than his dreams. But you're in love, darling. In love with a feisty jock of a girl who solicits you to take part in the school baseball championship. But you never could have expected, though, is that the girl's brother, yes, her brother, is the captain of the baseball team. Hey. In order to prove yourself, you challenge him. Yes, you, the vulnerable, naive man who knows nothing of the evil of the world. Faces off against the insatiable captain in his succulent 
abdominals. Can we get on with this already? Don't rush me, I'm setting the scene. Look at it. Uh -huh. <clears throat> anyway, that robot, that's her brother. Are you prove yourself to him? Well, it's up to you, darling. Now, start. Shoot so you like instantly afterwards. Why is that one not? I don't get it. Big one. Oops. Leo, but I've never seen a performance so brilliantly, so amazingly. Awful. Hey, you thought you could pull the wool over my eyes, did you? Ah, I can see straight through that little rouse. The maladroit way you flay with that pan. The second-hand embarrassment I got from the sharing aptitude. That takes talent. I wonder if you just recommend you. You're hot, 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 hot. I'm in the special effects car, would you, darling? I'm making you my leading man. Eek! Chop chop, back to work, you low life seek. Okay. Sorry, folks, no autographs. Afraid all hands haven't recovered. Yeah, Tick. Are you an actor too? <clears throat> Am I an actor? Just because I'm playing babysitter? Don't mean I ain't got the uh, chops, Tick. You're looking at the great. What's a que bambuna, Tick? Picture this down on his luck box or hoping to get back in the ring, Tick. was nothing but could have got in my way. Tough as rock it was. Trained every day, doing whatever I could, even using them frozen bananas. Also, I could get, uh, go up against a great Gorilla Creed in one pulse-pounding match. That was when my hands got rubbed out, so to speak. And they've been out of commission ever since. See? They're probably gonna find someone new for the sequel. Selling I'm sorry we didn't, didn't. Which is fabulous, just like true movie stars, darling. Remember, you don't wait for others, others wait for you, eh? Isn't that rude? Perish the fort, darling. It's what they want. 
People are dying to wait on you. Eh? Get out there and make him cry, darling. To the stage, should they see in the stars? You. Yeah. Okay. Prop gun. It was a day in early fall. The heat of summer still sizzling off the dry ground. But a bite of winter just uh, palpable on every passing breeze. Most of all, however, a good day to die. There was a sort of dis attitude to everything. All across the landscape, life was coming to changes. Lifestyle, vegetation, it was all shifting, morphing, mutating into unrecognizable, gruesome creatures. In a low mountain pass, the wine whipped the ground. Tangible aura of bloodshed bloating the air. Man entered, dressed to kill, finger twitching with the lust to caress the trigger of his old rifle. He had arrived. Beautiful darling, that an unimpassioned visage, that a pathetic magnetism. Perfect entrance, darling, absolutely superb. I want this feeling to fill you, to consume you. Give it up. All right, darlings. Next up, team 15, a surprise from behind. Ready and action. Sensational, truly moving performance. Whip those frogs right on the tush. Remember, darling, your gun is the only justice in this world. C16, a backstreet pounding. Ready and action! Enemies litter roll like tethered weed. It's the sound of his gun, the toll of the funeral bell. There was nothing. Now that could slow the feet of his hellbent gunslinger. Hideous, alien creature patrol the air as hellish beasts howl their murderous call. But patrol and howl they would no longer. Today was the day of reckoning. The second they opened their grisly jaws, the gunslinger shot them straight between the eyes. Chunks of brain and uh, viscera flying as they were silenced on the spot. Cuckoo cat! My eye for a turn is truly remarkable. Keep it up, darling. You're doing great. Up next, scene 17. Roggy Pound Town. Ready and action. Oh my.
Oh, the spectacular work of art! The best gunsling I've ever seen, darling. But now for the true test. Show them what you're really packing. Eek! In 18, the intergalactic pummeling. Ready and action! The shadows grew long between the buildings. As a fairy astro lit up the night sky, the nefarious assailant had appeared at last. Heck, man. Warning, warning, large object approaching. Godzilla! Super Ultra Extreme Man. Hen. Sheen! What the heck? Save me! Young girl's voice pierces his way through the rubble and debris. Save me! Save me, super ultra extreme man! Forgive me, my lady, but this is more than a battle of life and death. This battle shall decide the fate of the world. I am truly sorry. You call yourself a hero? I shall protect you, my lady. Cut! Pendius, sensational, true work of art, eh? Bella, you're a goddess of the... What she perform is like witnessing Venus herself and emerged from her clamshell. And in one fell swoop, smacking a man's elementary definition of your voice. Ugh. Oh, you can read on it. Oh, cat applaud, it's uh, for all those, so... Let's just get this over with, I'm gonna be late for my hair appointment. Of course, darling, anything you say. Ahem. All right now, darlings. Your mission is simple. Protect Bella with your life. Eee. Don't let those froggies touch her hair on her chinny chin chin, you hear? Team 20, a true hero. Ready and action.
hero, can I at least know your name? Jake, how dreamy. This is quite fitting, really. Because I dream is all you're gonna be. Prepare to die, Jake. Okay, just change how we behave here, okay. What in my great aunt's Terry Clark hot pants was that? Eek! Jake will never lose to that over the weaning rogue. Again, from the top. Oh my god. What you did there? You, you won't stay? Hey? What? With this poor excuse for a hero? Would you rather stay with the Grelian monster? I'm oh, sorry, my friend, but this is the end. I must bid you adieu. Let's continue the great battle of the almighty giants. Never once did Jake look back, but his keen eyes ever focused into the boundless night sky. I knew you could do it, darling. Like the carnal beast in you has finally been unleashed. You truly are an actor. Eek. Bella, Bella, darling. Of course, you too. Are we down here? No place to be. Of course, darling. Of course. We heard it, lady. That's a wrap. Pick it up, boys. Eek. I must admit, even I was impressed with your performance. I look forward to our future collaborations. Miss Bella, this way, please. Mm -hmm. John! You're a star now, John, a star! This is only the beginning, darling. A titillating performance, truly. I think it came from a human. Eh? Go on, let's go find our producer now, would you? Be in the westernmost room, the old scan. Fix it right up with the room so you can get some shot eye. I just need a beauty sleep, you know? Yeah. What about that rocket? We were hoping to get the rocket knight's rocket. Rocket knight? Oh, cool. Ah, you're not talking about Earthborn, are you, Donnie? I think an adorable little button nose like you knows what Earthborn is. As for that rocket, though, you might have luck checking the storage cards at least. Yeah. Antiques piled up to the rafters in there. At any rate, enjoy your time in the spotlight, darlings. As yourself goes, wander away your money. You know what? Most celebrities do with their fame. Yeah. It's got to be the storage car. And this is the Solomon's Castle. Oh, cool, Jack, you too, eh? I'm messing around. We got some fancy stuff in here. Rex said we could find the Rocket Knight's rocket here. That's so. Eek. You two need it or something? We sure do. We're going to use it to get to Esther City. Oh, ho, ho. never in my life have I seen such a passionate group of fans before. Eek. 
Hey, wait right here, would you? Found it. What is this? It. This is definitely it. Now we can go test the city. Better put a smuggler's board of treasure in here, wouldn't you say? William, Daniel, we found it, we found the rocket. Ro rocket? But this is just a, a piece of paper. What are you expecting, eh? Five feet long and two feet wide with body of red and base of check. This courage fuel rocket is guided by justice. You can even add some flames to the butt if you want, eh? Well, didn't a rocket knight use this to fly through the sky? Go did and you can too, eh? Can we give it a go? Just hang it from a wire and you can fly from one side of the car to the other. Okay. <coughs> Epitome of good old fashioned fun. It appears we're going to need to think of a different solution. find a rocket then we would definitely be able to beat that go go ghost train this piece of machinery is a little hmm let's just say the young sound should probably wait outside today valley customer buy something uh, we need to get some okay. we have that we need amazing stipendious you are the most valuable value customers okay that was a different store <laughs> Go oh, back, that's the young master's car. No one's allowed inside, eh? Me save, thank you. Hello, Ranger. some napalm and glory hole action and hello Richie. what the f didn't want to go in there Get in there. So many talking humans coming out of the woodwork lately. Yeesh, it's bananas if you ask me. Yeesh. Get the one right now. Get it. 
get it before either, and I can't get it now either. It isn't my favorite film, but v, did you find a rocket of yours? At any rate, I'm sure we can both use some rest. I can call someone to show you to your quarters. Sure, take a rest. <laughs> you just plan to just lurk today? Oh my god. He had to type three sentences. Oh boy. Order, Renji. How are you gonna recover? This is your room, eek! Don't bother with the TV, there ain't one. The humans in your TV can't pull you away. The refuses specifically requested there be no TV, eek! Only if Alvin Isabel made it to Esther City. Continued. Okay. Okay. What a tedious performance. Where's the emotion, the passion, the feeling? Be more titillated watching two cops dine and make some. Why is that incompetent twit doing back there? No one but school children would be entertained by this hogwash. Oh, look, another fancy special effect. How original. We're still producing this mind numbing drill. Ridiculous. Mustachioed one. I don't remember seeing him on the train. Quite good. Yeah, that girl. Why do I feel as though I have seen her before? What's this? Broken again? This uh, this comedy used pile of scraps? Don't tell me I need to replace it again. I think that after all this time you got them nowhere. Sit me here, wasting your time with this pointless drivel. But who's there? Boris Kerr? Can you can speak to me like that? The temper of yours hasn't changed either. Show yourself at once or I shall be forced to unleash my rage. But mother? No, it can't be. She's already gone, driven into exile of her own choosing. Unless... Don't tell me that girl I just saw. Time has come for you to open the factory. But I... You mustn't forget the task bestowed upon you. Ye yes, ma'am. Now how are you doing, Renji? They seek the one called Isabel. Isabel, you don't mean they're rocking night. You know what it is you need to do. Yes, ma'am. Ready that plaything of yours. Still has some waking up to do. Yes, ma'am. Read about, oh, read about, come on, come on, come on, you little piece of recyclable material. Get your young master, you're I mean, uh, already completed inspection. Never mind that, you have to start up the factory at once. It's then you're actually going to go through with it. Can you say you would let them go? Well, ho. Do my ears deceive me? Are you actually trying to tell me what to do? I would never. Don't tell me you actually have feelings for these animals. 
Can you master please? Yes, they may be a bit naughty from time to time. But, but, but they are still just monkeys after all. No, don't hurt them, please, my children. Silence, fool. We'll see how you feel about those uh, critters now. The booting system. Commander Solomon, awaiting orders, sir. Oh, that's more like it. Reporting with you, the chief. Chief? Who is this chief? I'm your commander, you uh, adult brain baboons. Wait right there. My loyal followers. The time has come. The factory has commenced operations. Doris reaping of the miasma shall begin, but before all that, I want you to go forth and seize that wretched white-haired bench. Yes, sir. Chief, sir. I mean, commander, sir. Um, and what about everyone else, sir? Everyone else? You refer to the monkeys? You just seize them as well. Seize them. Seize them all. I want nothing but seizing going on. And teach them a lesson they will never forget. I see them try to film another box office bomb after this. Ho 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 Box office? Bomb, sir? Quiet, you fool! Why are you still here? Off! Off with you! Yes, sir. Commander, sir. John? Get up, John, get up! Something happened outside. Let's go look. Everyone's already out there. Ook, ook, human they may be, but they haven't done anything wrong. We have a duty to protect them, eek. Go against the direct order from the young master, darling, please. They are here, eek. There you two are. Our chief, nay, our commander would like a word with you, eek. I will also... Huh? Us? It's them! They are here! Eee! It's them! John's weapons have been confiscated. <laughs> what the heck, man? Why do we have to be locked in these dreadful cages, eh? Maybe if someone would have listened to me. I want to give them up, but no. No, look at us. Trapped like animals. Animals, I tell you. Oh, oh, don't be scared, Bella. I'll protect you. Ah! Quite a bravado for one who squeezed at the sound of thunder, eh? They don't yell at me. I hate it when people yell at me. That does remind me, whatever became of the other humans? Eh? In front of the TV, no doubt. <laughs> ah, how delightfully refreshing. Chevron on a train, we are truly living on the la in the lap of luxury. What's this? A prison scene? How risky. William, help us. I would love to help you, truly. But I just don't know what more I can do for you in this situation. 
Cat! All wrong, all wrong. Guess what do you think you two think you're doing? That scene was going so well too. <laughs> you, you make me want to bite my pillow. Nice job on those uh, tears, Roberto. I got chills. You think so? <laughs> I was practicing all week. Hmm. John, John, darling. Hey. Let me ask pre preface this by saying I know I'm asking a lot. You can say that again. Quite you. Anyway, would you be a true dear and go take down the young master for us? If you don't, we'll surely be all back to that awful factory again. Wait, then you're saying that the whole thing back there was real? As real as the director's uh, you the dramatic. Oh, but I gave all our weapons to those guys. Not to worry, darling. I'm sure those silly old guards left your weapons in the storage car. Frank cuts throat like John should have no problem finding them. Come, darling, please. You're the only one who can help us. Let's watch out for those fellows with lights on their heads. You never want to hear the words Ape Escape again. I have to switch side there though, what the heck? Thank <laughs> you. 
God damn it. I tried to move away after he was done, but no, I was like stuck there for like. And how is he. I'm walking behind him, but he just turns around like, oh. I heard something. This time I wasn't stuck there at least. That's bullshit, one man. And again, I couldn't move. Uh, this is such a weird one. Sometimes I get like stuck after interacting with things. It's so annoying. Oh, my God. 
Why did it move? That was so annoying. CJ, how are you doing, buddy? Come on. Do a man escape. Come this way. <coughs> you must have run into the factory. Catherine. Looks like they're gone. Show stopping performance as always, John. Someone died flash before my eyes for a second back there. Hey. I'm afraid we are not in the clear yes yet. I don't suppose you will do it, just leave it to us. Time for a hero to step up to the plate. John, aren't you forgetting something? Uh, here's your uh, weapons. Don't worry, we didn't st steal any of the ammo. I even found a little bit more laying, lying around. Hopefully it will come in ha handy. Eh. Meh. Stop right there. Eek. We can't let you go, not without this. Yeah, yeah you got a cog shooter. You can find it in your weapons menu. What the heck? Okay. Used to use this death machine as one of our props. Turned out it was uh, just a little bit too dangerous, though. That means it's just the right amount of dangerous for a gallant knight such as yourself. But give him him, darlings.
Oh yeah, there you go, see there, a store for you. Welcome. Named Morning Glory. Morning as in the love, the smell of napalm in the morning. And glory as in glory hole. What can I do for you today, valued customer? Buy something. Come on, you game. What the heck?
Okay, this part is yes, ridiculous, I man. Uh, yeah, that fight in this fight is a little bit silly. I guess I should have used her to begin with and um, just stun them. That's what I should have done. Uh, question is, do we need? As I could have healed earlier too. room wait didn't she be here it's like a store mom there you are a nice in target mother welcome back mother initiating playback hello maggots never thought you would make it this far but did i after all i did pre-record this message <laughs> Ahem, if you want to know where Isabel is... Isabel! Yes, you likely sh just shouted her name right now. Well, if you want to know where she is, come to the easternmost car of this train. I prepared a little surprise for you. <laughs> hey, where's Isabel, huh? Tell us where Isabel is. Locating Isabel. Insufficient data, insufficient data. We need to get to that car now. Get 
another ammo pack. It's a boss fight time, it seems like. I knew you would take my friend fiendishly played bait. Well, this, how about that? Do you have nothing better to blather on about? I certainly have plenty of things I would like to talk to you about. Mother. My name's Sam and I'm not anyone's mother. Don't tell me. You don't remember. <laughs> okay, you had fun laughing. After all this time, after all these calamities, you, you don't even remember. Very well. Allow me to be the undertaker of this unfortunate tale. Are you alive? Can I please move? Okay, I assume you're supposed to use this weapon. But...
already out of ammo again. Holy crap, how long is this damn thing, man? Jesus. <sighs> yeah, it's been some interesting boss fights today. A formidable foe, indeed. Where's Isabel and Alva? You want to know where your precious Isabel and Alo went, do you? I have absolutely no idea. No touchy, no touchy. Fine, I'll tell you everything I know. You did tell me this Isabel of yours. It was a long, long, long time ago. He's already long gone as well. Off to Esther City. <laughs> nah. You must have me confused with someone else. Key strange. Just me, we've got two keys now. Ooh, ooh, quite the situation we got ourselves in, wasn't it? I say, if it weren't for you two, I shudder to think what would happen. And yet, I'm afraid I don't know any way we can help you in return. You haven't seen Isabel, have you? Isabel, Isabel. Want to think of it, that name has graced the cortex once before, eh? Wait, I know, the Rocket Knight, that's who she is. Oh, oh yeah, okay, is that so? Oh, oh, that's who you seek, is it? You seen her then? I'm afraid that was before my time, before I was born, actually. But I've seen her name before in the old scripts. Leave it to Bella to remember a detail like that. That pure unadulterated talent. Yes, yes. I remember now, I do. Eek. Well, you missed before we were acting. In the game. Like in an action movie, you went pew pew. Yes, yes, I remember now, I do. Eek. 
And it was back in my younger days as a fresh faced star. She crashed that rocket of hers right into the side of our train. Quite similar to your little engine, I might add. Now then, what is it you need her for, hmm? He? But, wait, that can't be right. You only left New Damn City a few days ago. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken, my dear. Time moves differently within this foggy, unpredictably, you might say. One hour here could last as short as a minute in the outside world, or as long as a year. That's then resistible now. Oh, go, if memory serves me correctly, she didn't stay long. Nay, hey, she left nearly as soon as she arrived. Didn't she leave the rocket of hers here? Oh, that she did. The question then is where? Why not ask the young master? I remember him taking a keen interest in the girl at the time. He's with the other humans watching TV. It's hard to tell her to ask. Okay. No, I didn't want to go in. Um... Wow, the forest at Brodlery. This program is right in me a minute. Come on. Out of the way, you cotton headed muppet. Blocked in the view. Oh, it's you two. Here for a glimpse of the old uh, boob tube as well. Never realized how positively entertaining it could be. Where's Isabel's rocket? What's that? You need a socket? I'm afraid you will have to find another. This one's already taken. What have you done? This kid monster was just about to make his appearance. What are you looking at, you fool? You want to fight, is that it? Yes, it's always uh, physics cups with you, isn't it? Isabel's rocket, where is it? Isabel, you say? No, that's a name I have not heard in a long time. Yes, I believe I attached a remote control to it, yes. Where I left it, however, is a bit foggy. Aha, yes, it's in that train of mine now, remember. John, let's go check it out. Wait, right there. Turn that delightful program back on if you would be so kind. Let's go.
see what that does. the cost and shit down the waste then. Um For the naughty shop. Thank you guys are. Huh? Yeah, no, 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 we don't have to worry about that stupid frog. Oh, uh, Spider Middle Eye, the Spickety Spark of Treasure. Hmm, what's this switch doing here? Control. You see, if remote control doesn't work, you don't think he was lying, do you? Let me take a look. Ah, it's out of power. Give me a sec. There, let's try it again. Quiz time! Oh, what? Hello and good evening, my delectable little maggots. Welcome to Solomon's wonderful game of knowledge where no one at all dies. Maggots? That's not very nice. Remarkably insightful of you, Mr. Socially Melodroid. I couldn't help but notice a significant drop in use lately, so for this episode I'm proud to announce that I'm offering a special prize. <laughs> what could this special prize be, I wonder? Perhaps Lord Solomon's coveted treasure. Or maybe it's a lamb capable of granting you deepest desires. Or could it even be a get out of harvest free card? Beep wrong wrong all wrong. None of these boring old things could ever have the privilege of being called a special prize. Well, uh, the question is for an evil mastermind. I thought he would be a lot scarier. No, the special prize is none other than the one, the only rocket that once belonged to Isabel. You hear that right, my darling maggots? I'm referring to that Isabel. Rocket, did you hear that? He said rocket. I can already feel your little fingers ringing themselves with desire. Then let us begin. This 560th episode. <laughs> Solomon's wonderful game of knowledge and uh oh, it's too long to say the rest. First question. The 
The largest port in the east, referred to as the Shining Pearl of the Coast, is where? Um, so they went on bay, or B is a zero? Well, Bay, one of the names of old, yes. What do you think, Daniel? I don't remember White World Bay from the first time we met, him. Eh? Okay, yep. That's speed. Should we choose A2? Wait, wait, I can't help but feel this might be a trap. It may have once been a harbor that really is now a forested and sprawl of mountains. I believe Easter City Harbor may be the answer we're looking for. Then let's choose B. It's White Well Bay. Is ready for the answer? Who? It is White Well Bay. Anyone who answered wrong is a foolish twit. We were wrong. Hush. Not even those monkeys could have gotten such an easy question wrong. Anyone who would expect to win the special prize balance in such easy questions. It's an equally as foolish twit, but I digress. Second question. The road to Esther City is shrouded in a strange fog. What is it that the fog rubs from us? Is it A, direction, or B, time? It should be B, time. enough to actually choose direction right then the warm-up is over shall we <laughs> speed things up a bit third question what is the ultimate goal for us harvesters a to destroy mankind or to create a new more advanced mankind that's something to the dark turn them already answered why does it feel so serious all of a sudden? Planet Rage, should we go with B? I'm gonna go with B too. No, the horrors does nothing but destroy. No, that's not what it does. Of course, of course. Only joking. That's B. They're destroying, but then they also have these factories that create new mankind. That's race, of course. Create a new, more advanced mankind. That's wrong. You're not creating a new anything. All you do is destroy. Imagine a few dollars in the audience like to answer that question wrong. Ho ho ho. But what more could you expect? Animals like you couldn't dream of understanding the sheer complexities of us higher beings. At any rate, we are rapidly approaching the show's climax. It's time for the final question. The question that transcends time, the ultimate question of the universe. When the world descends into the darkness of darkness, who is that shall be its guiding light? Is it A, Lord Solomon, or B, Lord Solomon? <laughs> Can you hear your shout your answer to the world? I don't even want to answer this one. Not well, really much if we have any hope of finding that rocket. I mean, it shouldn't matter, right? Well, then, give me some confidence. Ugh, fine. Now then. Let's take a look at all of your beautiful little answers. This? This is truly unprecedented. One of you ignoring me, you just actually managed to get all the questions right. I, I'm tearing up. You truly being, bring pride and joy to your species. If you aren't one of those lunatics from Esther City, then you must truly be an unconscionable blockhead. Unconscionable. 
Uh, at any rate, I must offer you my congratulations. Here you are, your special prize. This is it, this is Isabel's rocket. And a real one this time, how fortuitous. Now we should have plenty of power. Really? This is the speed of the iron carbine. The explosive power of the rocket. It just might well work. The only problem is that the f f fuel, we do we have enough for both? Bo There's no way to know until we try. Daniel? Yes, sir. I'll leave the rest to you. Yes, sir. They are here. What's this? Everyone's here. Eastward on the midnight train. Huh? What's that? The name of our next blockbuster production, darling. That's right, we have decided to immortalize your endeavors in film. Visitors from the world of fog. We crush the shackles of time, hey! And we save the world from destruction. Cool so back. You guys. It's just like you said, isn't it? Disaster befell your city. And now you're journeying to Esther City to save your friends, are you not? A feat you will have no problem accomplishing, darlings. Yeah, we will definitely be able to do it. Good luck, Ye. I wait news of your glorious victory with bated breath. We will wait for you to return before holding the grand premiere. Perfect. Brakes are ready and we're ready to go, too. As adept as always, my animatronic associate. It's actually easier than I expected. What a weird rocket. The power unit itself is simple, but it has free emergency escape to the system. Curious, I suppose whoever designed it must have been greatly concerned for the pilot. At any rate, It would appear we are go for launch as I say. Oh, here we go again and into the fog. Rocket even working? I don't feel any difference. The rocket consumes a surprising amount of fuel, so we should save it until the crucial moment. Pack will work, Daniel. Now then, where is that garish opponent of ours? The red fog! Seems our friend is here to pay a visit yet again. Daniel, prepare for battle! What did that? that? Increasing the speed. Output 50, 70, 90. Full speed ahead! Catching up! Adrian rocket propulsion system! Still getting on us! Faster! We need to go faster! The cooling system can't keep up! And it's gonna get you gave. 
Nation, if only I had that little coin of mine. And the heat, it's st stabilizing. Oh, what happened? Don't mind that, just get this thing moving as fast as it can go. Looks like we lost it. Then it would appear we have succeeded. This rate will be at the S city in no time. How do you define cold? Is it the low temperature or the absence of temperature altogether? As the city is cold to the point that time itself has frozen. The edge of the world, hope and perseverance go answered. The way back is covered in snow. And on the horizon a candle light flickers. What is that? Could that be Isabel? Could Alba be there? Hurry, John. We need to catch up with that light. Hollywood. Okay, so that was chapter six then.